Hey, it's Rob here. Now, if you're a snowmobiler, you probably know how much fun it is to just open that thing up on the trails. But when it comes to stopping, stopping, as your speed doubles, your stopping distance actually quadruples. We actually made a short little video clip um, to kind of demonstrate how that happens. Check it out. Once you see an object, it takes a certain amount of time to identify that object as a hazard and decide how to react. That time is called reaction time, and for most people, it's about three seconds. The distance you travel in that time is called reaction time distance. If you're traveling 30 miles per hour, you just traveled 132 feet. If you were going 45 miles per hour, your reaction time distance would be almost 200 feet. And this is before you even factor in how far your sled will travel after you apply the brakes. Your reaction distance plus your braking distance gives you your total stopping distance. The faster you go, the longer it takes you to stop. As your speed doubles, your stopping distance quadruples. All right, obviously this is a short little video from a longer series that we're doing for snowmobile safety. Um, if you want to get certified in all this, you can go online to this site right here. If you're an instructor and you want to get a hold of these videos, go right here to this link, and you can also find the links in the description below. If you have any comments for us, Comments below.